Hello people, my name is Ferdy and in this tutorial I will show you how to create something like this or like this using Elementor Pro's mouse effects. This tutorial can be as in-depth as you want. What I will do, I will show you every step you need to take, find an image, export them into multiple layers, adjust them in Photoshop and upload them to WordPress. But if you only want to learn how to do the mouse effect in Elementor Pro, I have a few free pre-made images for you that you can use so you can follow along in this tutorial. I hope you have fun. Learn a thing or two and buy Elementor Pro to my affiliate link so I make money. My wife gave me truth serum, so I cannot lie. I love my wife. I love making tutorials. I wish I would have more subscribers. I hope you think this is funny. Now, let's get started. So it would be great if you would have an image with multiple layers. If you don't have that, let's go to 30 corpcom forward slash snow. Hit enter. There it goes. I bring it to the desktop, what I have over here. It's four images, four layers, one, two, three, four. What you see in those images, I did a little bit of Photoshopping over here. What you see is that all the, the, the sides are, um, how do you say that? I, I like to have one side of the image to have no, no content in it. And I'll explain later why. So this is the free version. There's also a paid version. That's the one I will use, but you can also follow along with the snow version. In order to get the premium version, we will go to 30corp.com forward slash GR for graphic river. You can follow along. I will talk about Illustrator, about Photoshop, optimizing the images to get the result we have in mind, but you can also use the free snow version. As I said, in the store, I'll use premium images, but you can follow along with the free images. If you get stuck in the end of the tutorial, I will show you which settings I use to apply the same principles I will show you in this tutorial, but with the free images that you maybe downloaded. Now let's get the, the premium image. Well, I will search for landscape with layers. Then I scroll down. And I like to use this one. So I buy it. Buy it now. Now it's downloaded. So I open it. Open the EPS file in Illustrator. And I want to save each layer separately. So I turn them all off except for one. File. Export. Save for web. PNG 24. Save. I call this one. Zero one. Zero two. Zero three, zero four, and that's it. I don't need this one. Now I go to Photoshop, open them all. For this one, I go to the canvas size, make it 1300. Then I got the lowest part. I stretch it. Then I go to edit, transform, warp. What I want to do, I want every layer to have an empty right or left side. I'll explain later why. So what I will do, let's see, bring this down. Something like that. Save, export, save for web. Save, I go to my desktop, four layers, Photoshop, zero one. Then I go to the second one. I do the same thing. First command click, crop, and I go to edit, transform, warp. And bring it down like that. Save for web. Zero two. The third one. Also the warp. Oh. 
command click image crop save three and the latest one transform warp and then the right area I want to bring it down it's quite on a challenge command click crop save for web and four now i go to elementor pro I assume you already have it. If you don't have it, you can get it at 30corp.com for slash Elementor. And then you can get it for one website, 25 or a thousand. And it starts with $59 per year. And with Elementor Pro, you can create your complete website and have a ton of extra features, which I cover on this YouTube channel. And you can click on buy now, download Elementor Pro, go to plugins, add new, upload a plugin, drag it over here, install now. And follow along in the tutorial. I open a new page or create a new page. I call this one layers, publish, publish, edit with Elementor. Then I go to the settings and I make this a Elementor canvas. So there's no header, no footer. Great. I drag an image over here. I select it, upload files, select files, and I go for four layers Photoshop. Open. Then I select the first image. Great. Okay, a few things. The image size, I want it to be full. Then I go to the style. I want it to be 100% in width. I also go to the container, make it full width and the main height I say viewport height and let's see let's increase it I can do that by going to the style gradient and I create a background color that should be the the, the sky so I can play around with that little happy colors Okay, now I go back to the container layout. I can change the viewport height to 100. Okay, I go to the image to advanced. And I here at layout, I change the position to absolute. And then here below, horizontal orientation, I change the offset to viewport width and also the vertical orientation. Okay. And now, since the, the empty area is here at the right, I want to bring the offset a little bit to the left. This is, wait, I mean over here. So minus four. Update. I click on the eye to see what's happening. Okay, so far, so good. Then I click on duplicate image, the second one. I can also rename them. Three. I go for the second one. That's the the hill. This one. Let's call that hill. I bring it down here at advanced. The vertical orientation. Bottom oriented. Okay, minus ten. Perfect. The third one. It's the castle content castle. There you go. Advanced. This is in pixels. So let's fix that viewport width. Something like that. And then the latest one. Duplicate, call this one mountains. There you go. Select. Okay. I can bring them up. Let's 
to the left, the castle a little bit to the right. Wait, let's align it to the right and then go for viewport width and the plus, I mean in the minus. So, so far, so good. Now I want to go to the first layer, the tree. I go to advanced, closes, I go to motion effects and I use the mouse effects. I click on mouse track and now it starts to move depending on where I go with my mouse. And I see it's opposite and the speed is one. The closer it is to the screen, although it's an optical illusion, but let's say that the tree is in front of the castle. So I can make this 1.6. So it moves around a lot depending on where I move with my mouse. Then the second one is the hill. So I go to the hill, advanced, motion effects, mouse effects, mouse track, and I say 1.2 because it's a little bit farther away. And now we get that depth. As you see, you see a small change. I think, okay, let's say one. So I go to the hill, one. So you see more difference in the movement like that. Okay. Castle farther away. So here I say 0 0.6 and then the mountains are even farther, further, farther away. What is it? <laughs> further away. So I go to the mouse effects and I say 0 0.2. Small movements. Okay. This is kind of what we can get. There is more we can get. So now the challenging part starts because how will it look on a different device? If I make it smaller, you see it starts to uh, do a lot of weird things. So uh, I know this is a big screen. I have 4K, but if I have a smaller screen, a laptop, I don't want to see this. So what I can do, I can go to the castle. I can bring it down a bit. Sorry, uh, layout. Yes. And then the hills also bring it down a little bit more. And align to the right, viewport width, and in the minus. Okay. If I move around, I don't want to see edges like this. So I also see that the mountain should be a lot lower because I see this. I don't want it. So I go to the mountains. It's, it's a matter of playing around to see if it fits. Ain't no mountain high enough. This one isn't high enough. Okay. Do I see a background somewhere over here? Okay. It starts to look better and better. I can bring this a bit more to the left. So mountains, uh, I mean trees or one tree. The offset. Six. I think that's enough. We don't use this on a tablet or on a mobile because we don't have a mouse pointer. So we turn it off for that. I will show you later how to do that. So right now I'm happy. It's full screen. If I close this or make it smaller, it still works. Okay. So what's next? I want to create a new container. So I scroll down, click on the plus arrow down, go to the style, make it any background so I can see where that second container is. Layout, make it higher. Go to advanced. I want it to be in front of this area. Now it's now this image is in front of the container. So I go to the Z index here at advanced layout and I say 50. I can even bring it up a bit by advanced layout margin negative. Like that. If I scroll down, a new area starts. OK, 
Okay. So there's no space anymore at the left. There's no space anymore at the right. Everything looks good. If I scroll down, I move with my mouse. In my opinion, everything looks okay. So what I want to do, I want to play something over here. So I can go to all the elements. I search for a search form. I can drag it over here. Then I go to the container. It doesn't matter where it's placed. I go to the container and I bring everything to the center and to the center. I can style it. I can have a border radius. The button background. Okay, and if I hover over it, it can be orange. Update. Okay, great. Okay. I cannot click on it, so I need to bring it to the front. Go to advanced Z index 99 update. Yes. And what we can do with Elementor Pro, I will make a tutorial about it. We can change the look and view and the content of the search results page. So if you want to learn how to do that, watch the tutorial. I still have to make it right now. I'm happy. The only thing is how does it look on a different device? So this is my MacBook. And I'm happy with the results. Okay, back to the big screen. What should happen when people enter this on a different device? Really simple. I click over here. I go to advanced. Close this. Responsiveness. Hide on a tablet. Hide on a mobile. And then I can create a new container. So let's say uh, plus. And what I could do, I could go back to Photoshop, grab this one, save for web, make it 9020, 960. JPEG, because there's no transparent background. I can call this one background. Then I go to Tiny PNG, click over here, go to the desktop background, and it goes from 424 to 77 kilobytes. I can drag it over here, select it, go to my container, search form, copy over here, paste it. And I go to the container, responsive or advanced, responsive, hide it on the desktop. So I go to the mobile view or tablet. And then I click over here, layout. Again, bring it to the center and the center. Now I want to make it a little bit higher. Or I can say viewport height 100. Drag it up. Search desktop. Search tablet mobile. And then I go to the style of the container. The position is okay, I think. Display size, cover, or default. I can focus on a certain area. Or center, center. And then I can have an overlay. Of the colors on my website. Then on the mobile, it looks like this. It looks like this, and we don't have to deal with this because that will not be shown on a mobile. So we have this area. It looks good on a big screen. It looks good on a smaller screen and on a desktop and on a tablet and on a mobile. It also looks great. And one more thing, I can go back to the desktop version. 
go to all the images and also go to motion effects and turn on the 3D tilt. Wow. So let's play around with that. I start with two. I can also make it opposite. Let's do opposite. Okay, over here too. Then the hill. One point six. Opposite the castle. Let's do opposite. One. And then the mountains. Opposite. Zero comma five four. Update. So now it has a little bit more of turning around. I think it's better. As I said, I would show you how you can apply the same principles with the snow version, the snow landscape. So I go to the front image over here, click on the image, upload files, select files, snow, and I upload the four images over here. And I start with this one, select and the search form, go to the style button, change the color to a more bluish one. Then I go to the hill so that will be with the tree in the middle or in the center, the castle, which is the, the hill, this one, and then the mountains, which are the, the biggest hill. The background and then i go to the desktop style change the first color to a bluish one and then the second color to maybe even more blue update so how will it, will it look okay there's a few things we need to adjust as i told you before this is the reason why i tend to bring everything down at one of the sides. Otherwise we get cuts like these. I don't like that. So we need to bring things to the left and to the right. So the first two are okay. And the third one, I see this over here. So I go to the castle layer advanced. And I need to bring it to the left viewport width. Let's see. Minus three is okay, I think. And the fourth one, the mountains advanced. Align it to the right viewport width minus. Okay, let's see how that goes. So, no more gap. Also, here it looks great. Small gap over here. So, let's bring it a little bit uh, down. And voila, same principles applied, adjust a few things and now it looks great. I hope this tutorial was helpful. It was fun. You liked it and you learned a few things. Feel free to like the video. That will help me out a lot. And feel free to play around with it. Go as crazy as you want to go with it. And then I hope to see you in the next video. You can subscribe for more upcoming WordPress and Elementor Pro related tutorials. And um, yeah. That was it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.